Every second of every day, your brain is choosing what to ignore and what to pay attention to. But we all hear, see and feel the world in different ways. There's one condition, though, that really impacts how you communicate with people around you and sense the world. It affects over one in a hundred people and it's called Autism Spectrum Disorder, or Autism for short. This is Alex. He's 10 and he has autism. So, Alex, if you have to explain to people what it's like for you having autism, what, what do you say? It can cause me a lot of difficulties in day-to-day -day life um, because I absolutely love crowds and busy areas and people brushing past me. Someone with autism is on the autism spectrum. This is like a scale and different people are affected in different ways. We've come to the park and set up an experiment to demonstrate how Alex's autism affects his senses. What I've done is I've labelled the faders, which are like the volume knobs, with different sounds. And these are all the sounds we can hear around us. And when you're talking, I know there's a bit of traffic, there's some birds singing, I can hear the kids playing over there in the playground, there's a dog barking, but mainly I can hear you and my brain can just turn all these other sounds off. Can you show me maybe what it's like for you? I don't have as much control over it, so I'll just read the wall up there. But then I won't be able to block those out a little bit. But I can't block them out anywhere near as much as you did. Being overloaded with all this sensory information can lead to something called a meltdown. What's it like when you're having a meltdown in your head? Well, I just really kind of um, upset and angry and, I suppose, distressed and then I'd... I'm really not calm. Although autism can be disorientating and confusing, some autistic people are able to concentrate incredibly well on something they love. And for Alex, that's filmmaking. We've come to the Autism Show in Manchester. With us are some of Alex's friends who often act in his films. What do you think it is about autism and directing films that those two things work quite well together? Focusing on one task that he's doing at once. Yeah, he's very focused and a lot of the time has better ideas than us. To help Alex's friends understand what it can be like to have autism, we're giving them these virtual reality goggles and headphones which will play an autism simulation. Why don't you try it? Do you know, I've never tried virtual reality before. I can hear every single noise in this room and the light is very dazzling and I can't focus on the thing I think I need to be paying attention to is this lady who's telling me to wait but I can't understand what she's saying. Wow! What did you think of it, Jacob? It was really intense of what was going to happen next. It's very overwhelming, like... You can't concentrate on one thing because there's just so much going on. I thought it explained to me a lot more about how being autistic is. And it was kind of, yeah, stressful. You might know someone with autism. You may have autism yourself. But even if you do, it can be very hard to know what other people with autism are going through. There are a few things you can do to help. You can give people time. You can speak really clearly and you can remember that someone with autism may be experiencing the world in a more stressful way. Most importantly, autism isn't the main thing about anybody. People on the autism spectrum can still do absolutely amazing things. And I'm certain that one day I'm going to be in the cinema watching a film directed by Alex. Zond, what are you doing? I'm putting my facial muscles to the test by pulling as many facial expressions as possible. Well, you want to be careful. I mean, you know what they say, Zon, if the wind changes, you could be stuck like that. <laughs> that, Chris, is just an old-fashioned expression. <laughs> ah, time for investigation, ouch. You don't just communicate with the people around you by talking. The majority of your feelings are revealed by your facial expressions. 
When you experience any emotion, it is involuntarily expressed on your face by changes in your 43 different facial muscles. Unbelievably, the human face can make over 10,000 expressions. We learn to read different facial expressions as early as when we're babies. And if you look at these cards, it's easy to tell whether the person is happy, sad, surprised, angry, or, whoops, didn't mean to include that one. Thanks, Sand. For the majority of people, working out how a person is feeling is second nature. See how quick this lot are. What do you think this man is feeling? Happy. Happy. I think he's happy. Spot on, everyone. What about this person? Sad. 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 Well, they're brilliant at this. However, not everyone can suss out emotions this easily. Autism spectrum disorder, or autism for short, is a condition where people find it hard to communicate. And one of the reasons why is that they can't understand different facial expressions. So how does it feel when you have difficulty understanding other people's facial expressions? Well, to put it to the test, I've jumbled up my face to make a very odd expression. Let's see what happens. Um. Confused or angry? Upset? Weird. Weird. Everyone was unable to work out what the expression meant and it left them feeling confused and frustrated. This is how people on the autism spectrum can feel a lot of the time. Fortunately, there's someone who might be able to help. Meet Zeno. He's a humanoid robot with a computer for brains, but he's capable of pulling a range of facial expressions. We've come to a school which specialises in helping children with autism. Meet Dr Alyssa from the UCL Institute of Education. She's working on the D-Enigma Autism Project and she's Zeno's BFF. We've been using Zeno with children with autism to help them start to learn about different facial expressions. And what facial expressions can Zeno pull? First one is his happy face. Can also do a good sad face and he can be angry and he can be scared. Having a good understanding of the happy, sad, angry and scared, that's a really important tool for successful social interaction with other people in everyday life. In working with a robot, children with autism like Kyron, Harry and Maxie can learn to understand different looks. It's angry, sad face. Without the awkwardness of practicing with a real person. Happy face! Unlike a human, Zeno doesn't get offended if you get it wrong. And he doesn't mind doing the same look over and over. Practice makes perfect! Don't cry! And it's not all about recognising Zeno's expressions. These guys are learning to pull the faces themselves. Can you show me your scared face? Over time, this will help them know what to do when they're around people in daily life. The kids just really light up when they see Zeno. It's just kind of nice to be around. And he loves a party. What a dance. I like a bit of a dance at the end of the day.